Today on our 2017 Ford Edge Sport, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you on install the Hopkins Custom Taillight Wiring Kit for Towed Vehicles, part number HM56011. What this wiring harness is going to do, it's going to give you all the proper lighting functions for your towed vehicle. Your turn signals, your brake lights, your running lights, and your ground. What's good about this wiring harness, it's going to hook directly into your factory taillights and wiring. You're not going to have to make any splices and it's gonna have a diode kit, which means if you have a wiring issue in your RV, the diode kit is gonna protect your factory wiring in your vehicle from getting damaged and vice versa. Now let's go over the five main components of our flat tow setup on our Ford Edge. Here we're gonna have the Roadmaster Sterling All-Terrain Tow Bar, which is gonna come with your safety cables, the Roadmaster EZ4 base plate, the Air Force One braking system, and the Hopkins custom fit towed vehicle wiring. First thing we need to do is start our installation. So we need to remove both of our tail lights. What we need to do is remove this little cap right here. So let's take a very small flathead screwdriver or anything thin that you can fit in there. It's gonna have a clip on both sides that are holding the cap in place. take a flathead screwdriver you're gonna remove the bolt that's in place and we'll take a trim panel tool plastic one you put it right along this back edge here push back to the back of the vehicle it'll slide out of place and what we'll do is you see a plug here you're gonna reach down right inside here and you're gonna push You're gonna push down on that little tab and pull up. We're gonna to have to bring our wiring up from the bottom of our vehicle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this out. Then we're gonna take it and we're gonna kind of push it down and off to the side, kind of like that. And that should give us enough room to pull our wiring harness on each side up from the bottom of the car. Now I'm gonna take some airline tube. You can use anything that has any kind of stiffness to it. We're gonna feed it down to the bottom of the bumper. Now I'm gonna take the end with the diode box. That's the end that I want to go up to my driver's side tail light. So it's going to be a blue and red wire and brown and yellow. I'm going to take my two ends, I'm going to tape them onto the end of my airline tube. Now we can grab our airline tube and slowly start to pull our wiring harness up from behind our fender. So as you can see, we have our wiring harness pulled up. Now what we found out is because there's such limited space right in this area, you actually are gonna to have to remove this side of your panel. There's gonna be eight screws that run along the inside of your fender well. Once you take those out, you're just gonna pry out and that's gonna give you enough space to get back in there. Now you're gonna need a 5.5 millimeter socket or wrench to get those screws out. Now, per the instructions, they want your diode box to be mounted up behind your driver's light. However, there's not gonna be enough space in here with your tail light in place to get that box in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some two-sided tape and I'm gonna tape it right to the inside of the fender right here. You wanna make sure that it's secured. It's not gonna bounce around. I'm gonna take some rubbing alcohol, kinda just wipe off the air where I'm gonna place the box. Make sure it's clean and it sticks good. And we'll take our two sided tape on our box. Make sure you press it into place. Go on the other side. We'll stick it right in the spot that we just cleaned off. Again, press it into place. Make sure it has a good hold. Once you have your diode box in place, 
you can start putting your fender back together. Next, we can just match our plugs. And then that end will go into our tail light. Once you got your tail light to fit back in place, you can go ahead and reinstall your screw and then your cap. And you're gonna repeat the same process on the other side. Next, we're gonna take our other end. We're gonna go across the back of the vehicle and up the passenger side, just like we did the driver. Now, you wanna make sure that you stay away from heat sources or anything that's moving. On the back of this vehicle, there's a panel that runs right here we can run the whole wire across the back of the bumper. So again, I'm gonna take an airline tube and I'm gonna run it back behind it to the other side. Now we're gonna do the same process. We'll tape our plug to the end of our airline tube and pull it through. Now we'll remove it here. And what we wanna do is go over top of our exhaust pipe. Then again, we'll tape our wiring to our airline tube that's running up to our passenger side tail light. And pull it up into place. So what I did is from this side, I pulled my wire as tight as I could get it to make sure that the other side was gonna stay above the uh, exhaust like this, and then I zip tied it right here to this existing wiring. As you can see, it's nice and tight, away from the heat. Next, I'm gonna run my four pole up to the front of my vehicle. I'm gonna make sure when you're routing this, stay away from anything hot or that's moving. From here, we're gonna go ahead and test out our lights. Now our customer has chosen to put a six pole on his vehicle. So, we're gonna go ahead and test this now to make sure this part of it is working. Then we'll cut off the wires, connect them to our seven pole or six pole, and then retest it again to make sure everything is still working properly. Now I've gone ahead and grounded it right over here to the subframe. Now we'll test it out using an alternate power source. We'll start with our tail lights. Left turn. Brake lights. Right turn. And that'll do it for a look at an installation on the Hopkins Custom Tail Light Wiring Kit for Towed Vehicles, part number HM56011 on our 2017 Ford Edge Sport. Thanks for watching. Click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com and leave a comment if you have any questions.